Hi, today I'm going to show you how to make Valentine's cards out of torn paper. First, we're going to start out with a 110 pound card stock. This is just so we have a nice heavy base for our card. We're going to cut it down the center at five and a half inches. And then we're going to get our scoreboard and this is so we can put a nice crease right down the center of the card. We're going to do that at four and a quarter inches. And we'll be able to fold it exactly and perfect. And then we'll make our fold really tight. So I picked out some paper for today. We're just going to do a black and white polka dot for our base. On this card, we're actually just going to have one um, pattern paper on it. And so I'm going to cut this at four inches by five and a half inches. And then I'm just going to tear it down the side. And you can put a little bit of curve in there, you know, make it the tear deeper in spots so it's not just straight. Okay, now we're just going to glue this down and I'm using acid-free archival quality glue. Don't go too close to the edge because then when you press it down the glue will ooze out so be really careful not to get it too close to the edge. Then we're just going to line it up make sure that the top and the bottom are right in line with the card. You might have to scoot it one way or the other just to make sure it's perfect. Now I've got this sparkly paper. I got this at Hobby Lobby and I got this die cut that will um, punch out a nice pretty heart for us. I think the die cut is made by, or the paper punch I should say, is made by EK Tools I believe. This glitter paper is cool because the glitter doesn't come off in your hand or all over your table, yeah, but it's really sparkly. So we're just going to glue that on. I like the contrast with the black and white and the red. I really like that. Okay, I printed these off from my computer. I just got some cardstock and printed off um, some bigger font that says love. And we're just gonna use one of those rather than a stamp today. Actually, I do this quite a bit. Just print off and cut them out. just going to make it just the perfect size to fit on there. And I'm just going to glue that on. Now this card is, is actually really simple. It's cute, but it's really simple. Um, beginners can do this type of card. So it looks cute. So far, so good. Okay, so I got these cute little sequins at Hobby Lobby as well in the Valentine's Day aisle. And I think there's red, pink, and white, like a white iridescent. We're going to use red on this card. So I got these um, reverse tweezers. They're really handy because they help hold little things like this in place while you put the glue on. They really come in handy. I think they're also made by EK Tools. The point on them is really sharp though, so be careful. Okay, I think we should put one more sequin and then that should be good. I think three is good. Yeah, that looks perfect. Now you could put 
a ribbon around the fold or you could do you could do little red buttons um there's a lot of different options you could do but i thought sequins would be good for today awesome that could go to a man woman child that would cover about anybody that card would okay now we're going to move on to a pink card with hashtag love you on it So we're just going to take the other half of our paper that we already cut and score it down the middle at four and a quarter inches and fold it nice and tight. Okay. And I've got pink from another project I did. I have a little scrap. And then I have a, a paper that says love on it. So we're going to use two different pattern papers on this card. So we're just going to cut this scrap down at five and a half. And then we're just going to cut a strip off of this other pattern paper. A little over two inches. And then cut it again at five and a half inches. Okay. So it's going to go like that. We're just going to take and tear it down the, the edge of the paper. make little hills and valleys that makes it it has more personality I think I would just put the glue around the edges and this one's going to go towards the outside of the card the outside edge of the card where it opens make sure it lines up with the top and the bottom you can see the price on that one for that 12 by 12 paper it was 69 cents isn't that crazy that paper costs that much okay make sure it's nice and lined up awesome so far so good okay i'm going to use the heart punch on this card as well I have a, a pattern that has little black hearts and we want to make sure it's going in the right direction before we punch the paper. So we have the hearts going the right direction. And I'll just stick this on. See how I mean this is really simple and beginners are it, it's perfect for beginners it's not really too tedious or anything not a lot of measuring and stuff so I'm just going to use the hashtag love you on this card I like printing out my own um, sayings um, I think it makes it more personal Plus, you can make them whatever size you want. When, with a stamp, you're stuck with the one size. So I like just printing them off. It's so much easier. Okay, we're going to put black behind this um, hashtag love you just so it has a black border around it. With these scraps, sometimes I like to lay them down on the scrap just to make sure that the paper is straight because sometimes it's crooked or was cut on a slant so I like to make sure that it's not um, crooked okay then we'll just cut 
around leaving about the same amount of border as the rest of it. And because of the glue, it's sliding around a tiny bit, but we'll work with it. Make sure it's nice and even. I actually have an Etsy site that I sell these cards on. Um, it's SharonCreativity.etsy.com and I'll put the link down below. Okay. Just stick that down. It's really looking cute so far. I think it needs a little something though, so we'll add some ribbon. I'm just going to measure it twice along the edge so we know it's long enough before we cut it. This one's just going to go around once and tie. Sometimes I go around two or three times, so it's a lot of measuring, but for this one, we'll just go around once. Okay, I'm going to get my little reverse tweezers to hold this in place so I can make the knot. That's another good thing about these tweezers. They can hold things in place for you, so... Since you don't have an extra finger to hold down, we can just use the tweezers. Nice. So the strings are a little long, so I'm going to cut them off a little bit. Sometimes I leave them longer, but this one's sticking out too far, so we'll cut it off. I'm going to scoot that over towards the end a little bit. Okay. Looks good. But I think we need some sequins. So get our tweezers again. This time I think we'll do the white iridescent sequins. And let's see, bottom probably would be the best place for them. Oh, whoa, <laughs> they're jumping at me. Okay, so I think we'll do three sequins on this card as well. Just adds a little something to it. So this card would be good for any any girl, any female. Um, Old, young, in between, I think anybody would love this one. There we are. We're all done. Easy peasy. So thanks for watching. And um, like and subscribe so I can keep making these videos. I just want to see if anybody's watching them before I continue. So thanks for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.